So, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Zamax when here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with a brand new Prank Kids deck profile for you guys today. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. One of the most enjoyable things about playing Yu Gi Oh! is being able to play a deck like this. I've never thought in my life that there would be a deck called Prank Kids in Yu Gi Oh! And I've been exploring this deck for a couple weeks now, and it's very fun to play. And I also try to build this deck as competitive as possible to compete in today's metagame. This deck obviously came out in the brand new set, Hidden Summoners. I know that that set is really underwhelming, but for those of you who uh, want to play a fun deck like Prank Kids, you guys should definitely pick up the Hidden Summoner uh, booster set, or at least pick up the singles to get the deck profile. It's very fun, it's very OTK heavy, and I'll showcase you guys a couple combos that you guys can actually do with this deck to try to, you know, Regeki your opponent's board, or Ento obviously Heavy Storm your opponent's board. And this deck, uh, through all testing, is by far the most consistent and uh, the most uh, powerful uh, build that I actually could ever come up with. I obviously tried other uh, variations of Prank Kids, but this version right here, I'm confident enough, is uh, definitely the best one to actually compete in today's metagame. And I'll explain you guys all my card choices once I'm going to the video. If you guys can check out TX1.com, I have plenty of playmats on there. This is the Elemental Hero Straddles and Honest Neil's playmat. I have uh, cloth playmats on there as well. So if you want to help support me and what I do, make sure you guys visit TX1.com to get your playmats today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's just start with the deck profile. To start with the monsters, you want to play, obviously, the nine prank kids. You want to play, of course, triple prank kid, uh, Lamsey, triple uh, prank kid, Dropsies, and last but not least, triple prank kid, uh, Fancies, okay? So basically, these cards all have the exact same primary effect, uh, where whenever they're used uh, for a fusion summon or a link summon of a, you know, prank kid monster, you basically get to tag out for another prank kid monster directly from the deck. So... And what this card basically does is that you inflict 500 damage to your opponent, then you special summon uh, Prank Kid Monster directly from the deck other than uh, Prank Kid Lamzy. Uh, prank Kid Dropsies lets you gain 1,000 light points, okay? So once you gain 1,000 light points, you basically get a special summon, uh, you know, a Prank Kid Monster uh, directly from the deck. What's different about Fancies is that uh, whenever it's sent to the graveyard, you basically get a tag out by Foolish Burying uh, one of your Prank Kid cards directly from the deck to the graveyard. So obviously, this card has a lot of uh, utility in this deck because you can dump your spawn trap cards to the graveyard to fetch it with one of your link monsters directly from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, the nine prank kids, definitely a must off uh, in the deck. Uh, next off for your fusion stuff, you're gonna play of course Triple King of the Swamp. This card basically makes it that you search polymerization directly from the deck to your hand. It's definitely a must off in the deck. You wanna search a polymerization as quickly as possible so that way that you can just, you know, fuse away your monsters in your hand to bring out uh, the rocket so you can just cobble off within your turn, which is really awesome. So King of the Swamp is definitely a must off in the deck and you're just playing six polymerization in the deck. And last but not least, for the hand traps, you're gonna play, of course, Show Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Card's really amazing, hits every single card in today's metagame right here. So that's pretty much it uh, for all the monsters in the main deck. Obviously, we don't have Rock yet, so we have Rock. We're definitely adding Rock into the deck. Uh, for the spells, to start off with, of course, Triple Prank Kid Place. This card is uh, the main field spell of the deck. If you guys don't know what this card does, uh, once this card is activated, it acts like a Union Hanger. It searches your uh, Prank Kid monster directly from the next to your hand and has two amazing abilities, uh, depending on whether or not you link summon or fusion summon. If you fusion summon, a prank kids fusion monster except during the damage step you can have all monsters you control gains primary attack even if this card leaves the field and if you uh, link summon uh you know a prank kid monster except during the damage step you can basically make your opponent uh, all your opponent monsters lose uh 500 attack so this card is able to just uh make sure that your prank kid monsters become big enough uh so that way that you can just beat over any problematic monster your opponent controls so if you're able to uh, make fusion plays and also link plays during the same turn uh, all your prank kids monster will gain 500 attack and then all your opponent's monster will lose 500 attack which is really awesome so prank kid plays is definitely a must-off in the deck and it's one of the cards you always want to open up with but two terraforming you get to see your uh, prank kid monsters as quickly as possible so uh triple prank good plays and also uh, double terraforming next off you know play of course double prank kid pen Ammonium and then double prank kid uh, pranks. What prank kid pranks does is that uh, it's a continuous spell card. You can discard a prank kid card, uh, especially summon a prank kid token, and it cannot be tributed. And during your end phase, you can target three prank kid cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and then draw one card. So it's a mini pot of average during each of your end phase, uh, which is pretty cool. So that way, you can recycle all your prank kids uh, directly to the deck. So that way, you can always add infinite fodder whenever your prank kids gets uh, you know sent to the graveyard for a link play uh, and also for a fusion material, which is really good. So this card helps recycle 
goes all your prank kids cards directly to the deck. Uh, the only downside about this card is that it activates an end phase, so it would have been way better if you can actually use this card during the main phase. Uh, you know, double prank kid uh, pandemonium. This card is the polymerization of the deck, the quick play polymerization. During your main phase, you can speed some one prank kid monster from your extra deck. Use your monster on the field as fusion material. Use your monster from the hand and on the field as fusion material, which is really, really awesome. But for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon or normal summon monsters except for prank kid monsters. So you obviously just want to make all your link plays as quickly as possible. Make uh, possible cards like Boros or Dragon uh, or Boros or Dragon before you obviously use this card. But this card can just easily just guarantee OTK. Next off for your turbo cards, you know, play of course triple instant fusion. Uh, Rocket is level five uh, fusion monster, so instant fusion is absolutely free. You just want to see your fusion cards as quickly as possible. But open up instant fusion and prank kid monster is a two card combo right here. And obviously next to instant fusion, you'll play of course triple polymerization. King of Swamp searches card directly from the deck to hand, and you can just fusion summon, uh, you know, your rocket from your extra deck using prank kids monster on the field and also in your hand. And then last but not least, I made this deck an exactly 40 card deck. I played the one off star goblin. And then last but not least, for the trap cards, uh, for the prank kid trap cards, you'll play, of course, double prank kids uh, plan. Uh, what this card does is it's continuous trap card and basically allows you to link summon uh, during your opponent's turn, which is really good. And it also has amazing abilities that you can banish this card from your graveyard, shuffle any number of your prank kids cards from your graveyard into your deck. And if you do the attacking monster, lose 100 attack for each card shuffle until the end of this turn, which is really good. So that way, you can just protect your prank kids cards. And then last but not least, you guys probably already seen YouTube videos like this before online but i decided to actually throw in the thunder dragon engine in here i believe that this engine is definitely a must off in this deck and when you're trying to play this deck as competitive as possible you want to try to you know add in meta cards in the deck to actually help uh you know a deck like this compete in today's meta game one of the main problems that uh prank kids has is having uh you know negation the deck obviously has interruption with butler but other than uh, butler and also rolster there is not really a lot of interruption that this deck can just uh put out so obviously the thunder dragon engine is definitely a must off in the deck in my personal opinion obviously opening up the instant fusion one prank kid and a thunder dragon dark you basically have a first turn colossus with all the other standard uh, prank kid stuff that you have so uh putting up a colossus can just be a really huge meta call uh, in today's meta game to stun your opponent from uh, searching you know really good against striker uh, obviously uh, so this engine right here is definitely a must off in my opinion if uh, this engine is a little bit you know out of your budget you guys can just substitute cards you know different hand traps or different traps or small cards uh, to your own liking but this is just my own uh, personal taste I know a lot, a lot of people play test the prime kids uh, with thunder dragon engine and it works really well uh, in my opinion and throughout testing this is by far the best uh, version uh, for me and you know putting up Colossus, it's just absolutely broken. And every single prank kid monster uh, in your deck is a thunder. Okay, so basically, you just pitch the thunder dragon dark directly from your hand to the graveyard, search another one, normal summon a prank kid fancy, make a Colossus, and then that's already just a huge floodgate that your opponent has to deal with, right? Uh, so obviously, the thunder dragon engine is just really good. Uh, opening up, uh, you know, the regular engine, and if you have a, a you know, gold shark in your hand, you basically have the exact same combo board. Uh, but instead you have a first turn Colossus as well. So Gold Sark is just really broken. Activate Gold Sark, Banish Dark, Search Avion, and then you just activate Avion, make a Colossus, and then there you go. All right, guys, start with your extra deck. For your extra deck, you're going to play, of course, Double Prank Kid, uh, Doodle Doodle Doo. Uh, what this card does that, when this card does link summon, you can add one Prank Kid Spawn Trap card directly from your deck to your hand, and, and you contribute this card to basically target two Prank Kid cards in your graveyard and add it to your hand, which is really awesome. So that way that you can just utilize cards like Pandemonium during your opponent's turn if you can summon into one of your Prank Kids Fusion. Uh, which is really nice. So double doodle do is definitely a must off in the deck, and it's one of the cards that you're going to be going to the most. Next one to play, of course, the one uh, prank kid uh, bow wow bark. What this card is, is that any prank kid monster it points to, it gains a uh, thousand attack. And during your opponent's turn, you contribute this card, target two prank kids card with different names, and then add them to your hand. And then of course, uh, prank kid uh, rip roaring uh, roaster. Uh, what this card does is that you contribute some of this card, what well, tribute this card to nuke your opponent's back row, which is really good. So it's a heavy storm uh, for the deck. And also this card. Is to send the graveyard by your opponent card effect. You can target one of your cards in your graveyard, except for a link monster, and then add it to your hand. So this card is like another uh, the warrior returning to life for the deck off to your fusions. I'm going to play, of course, the one prank kid, Battle Butler, and this card is absolutely broken. It's one of the cards that you want to go into, and what this card does is that you contribute this card to basically regeki your opponent's entire board. So if you see your opponent trying to set up link plays, you can just go, you know, uh, Pandemonium, uh, uh, make prank kid, Battle Butler, and attribute it, and then just basically nuke your opponent's entire board. Uh, which is really good. And when this card dies uh, by your opponent card, you basically get to revive back uh, one of your uh, monsters in the graveyard, which is really good. Next off, Triple Prank Kid uh, Rocket Ride. 
Uh, this card is one of the cards that you're going to be going into, and it's also an instant fusion target because it's level 5, and at the same time, you can tribute this card, target two prime kids non-fusion with different names in the graveyard, and then a special summon it, which is really good. So it's a monster reborn for the deck, which is really nice. Uh, double prime kid uh, weather washer. The card is really good as well. If a prime kid monster attacks, your opponent cannot activate cards or effect until the end of the damage step during your opponent's turn. You can attribute this card, target two of your prime kids non-fusion monster in the graveyard and special summon it. So this card's for your turn, this card's for your opponent's turn, which is really good. And then last but not least, this engine is obviously quite expensive, you know, double Colossus, and also the one Thunder Dragon uh, Titan right here. Uh, these cards are in here because you're playing a Thunder Dragon engine, and I believe that is one of the best uh, stun factors that you can just throw in a Thunder-based deck. I know that it's very expensive, and, you know, it's not really budget-friendly, but it's, you know, if you're trying to play this deck on a competitive level, I would recommend you guys throwing a Thunder Dragon engine into here. And then last but not least, one Borosaur Dragon and a one Borlor Dragon uh, for Lynx. Uh, these are the cards that you're probably going to be going to the most after you have all the Prank Kids monsters the field uh you usually end up with prank do 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 with borosaur dragon then you just have game right there uh, this card is so good you know this deck is like literally a borosaur borosaur dot deck if you don't uh you know you, if, if your opponent don't kill you next turn you're just gonna kill them with borosaur dragon uh, which is insane and then last but not least you're gonna play of course the one uh totally awesome in the deck and it's just an extra negate which is really good and you can easily make this card with two uh with two dropsies because dropsies is a level two uh aqua monster so that's pretty much it for the main deck guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video now, most important part of this video is obviously the combos that you guys can actually do with this deck. So without further ado, let's just start with the combos. And I'm going to demonstrate to you guys on what are some of the possible combos you guys can actually do with this deck. Obviously, this deck is a fusion-based deck. So in a fusion deck, there isn't like, you know, one card combo you can do with this deck. Is because, you know, with polymerization, you need cards in your hand uh, to combo off. Uh, but there are two card combos, and the two card combo you can actually... Uh, you know, put out, rub around Insta Fusion and also one Prank Kid Monster. And in this situation, I'm going to use Prank Kid Place because this serves as any Prank Kid Monster uh, in the deck. So you're actually able to put up an, either a Board Wipe or a Heavy Storm in this situation right here. So activate Prank Kid Place. Uh, prank Kid Place is going to be uh, able to search you any Prank Kid Monster directly from the deck. I'll search the water. Uh, why not? Summon Dropsies. Activate Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion will allow me to uh, Fusion Summon into your uh, Rocket Ride. This card is right here, just a, a free Fusion material uh, in this combo. So uh, you're going to just link away these two uh, to make your Doodle Doodle Do. All right, guys. And then, uh, once Dropsies gets into the graveyard, you gain a thousand light points to Special Man Fancy from the deck. And then your Doodle Do is an Activates Effect. Uh, to be able to search uh, your Prank Kids Pandemonium directly from your deck to your hand, uh, which is really, really awesome. So there you go. Now now what you're going to do is you're going to activate Pandemonium, uh, sync away these two, not sync, a uh, few just I'm going to weigh these two to make your Prank Kids Rocket Ride. Okay, which is really cool. And now once Rocket Ride uh, comes out, uh, you know, Prank Kid uh, fancies an activate effect. This card's a Foolish Burial for any card, so you're going to dump the Prank Kids plan, especially when the Prank Kids uh, land C directly from the deck. Now what you can do is that you can use a Rocket's Amazing Ability to tribute itself to, to special summon two Prank Kid monsters from the grave. Special summon Doodle Doodle Doo and also a color from your grave. Very awesome. And now what you can do at this point is that you can activate Doodle Doodle Doo Doo's effect to tribute itself uh, to add back two Prank Kid cards from your grave right to your hand. So you're going to add back the Pandemonium and also Prank Kid's plan. Okay, at this point what you're going to do next is that you're going to link away these two to make a Prank Kid's Bow Wow Bark. And now, uh, Lamb Season activates effect. You're gonna deal 500 damage to your opponent. Just special them in a dropsy uh, directly from the deck. Very good. Now you're gonna set Prank Kids Plan and also Prank Kids Pandemonium. And then just uh, basically pass turn. Uh, and this is when it gets a little bit different, okay? So I'm gonna showcase you guys two combos in one step right here. For both combos, if you want a Heavy Storm and also Regeki, you're gonna have the exact same setup right here. So if you want to Regeki your opponent, what you're gonna do is that on your opponent's draw phase, you're gonna activate Prank Kids Bow Wow Bark's effect to add back two colors that are different from the ones on the field. So since you have a Water on the field, you're gonna add back a Wind and a Fire. If you have a Fire on the field, you're gonna add back a Water and a Wind. Vice, uh, vice versa, if you have a win, you're gonna add back a fire and a water. So you're gonna tribute this card to add back these two to your hand. If you want a Regeki, you're gonna activate uh, Prank It's uh, Pandemonium to basically fuse away these three cards right here. So send these three cards away right here. They're very awesome. And then you're gonna be able to make your Prank Kid uh, Battle Butler. And obviously, all these prank kids are going to trigger off their effects once they're sent to the graveyard. So you're going to be able to tag out 
uh, for three praying kids directly from the deck, uh, which is really good. And then now at this point, when your opponent tries to combo off, you can just go praying kid, battle butler, activates effect, tribute itself, nuke your opponent's entire board. So that's a regeki right there, uh, which is really, really good. It's the exact same board as before. What you're gonna do differently is that you're gonna activate uh, Bow Wow Barks effect, uh, tribute itself, add back two colors uh, from the grave. So red, green. And then what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna go fusion, uh, send away uh, Fancy and also red uh, to the graveyard. Fancy's gonna act, Fancy and Lamp is gonna activate its effect to bring out, you know, basically two more copies of themselves from the deck. So this is right here. And now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna activate Weather's uh, Washer's effect, you're gonna tribute itself. To revive back two monsters from the grave, you can revive back your prank kid bark and also your prank kid do 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 do. And now, what's gonna happen is that you can just go, you know, your uh, prank kid's plan, send these two to the graveyard immediately, link summon uh, into your rollster. If your opponent, uh, you know, tries to set back rows and everything, you can just go rollster, uh, tribute itself, nuke your opponent's entire back row, uh, which is really good. So, and that's pretty much it for the basic two card combo you guys can actually use that. You can either make uh, this. Or you make the battle butler to heavy storm your opponent's board. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This deck is just a really fun deck to play. I cannot wait for Rock to come out. Rock will be super duper sick and a good addition to the deck. So, so that's pretty much for this video. Make sure you guys get your amazing play mats today at TX1.com. And it's your boy Sam from Team Sam and Sam signing out. Let me know your thoughts about this deck in the comments section below. All right, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game. I don't need a minute. The game, Shh, I need a minute. Uh. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deal with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shot. I'm a keen with it, like no, no, this league business.